All right, here's a 3DR radio telemetry kit I got off eBay. Uh, after this uh, little thing is the instructions on how to do it, but it went a little long, so I thought I would just show you guys the kit I got off eBay off this guy. I'm not promoting him. Uh, he doesn't include tracking anyways, so it's kind of a gamble. Um, this kit I attached to a CX-20 ver with the APM board 252 version 5 with the built-on header. The cable that came with it was wrong, as I explained in the next video. I'll show you a picture right now of how to hook up the cable. So if that's your only problem hooking it up right now, you don't have to watch the whole video to figure out the rest. All right, thanks. The cable's backwards. If you ended up plugging this cable into your TX for your telemetry, you most likely fried it and went searching on YouTube and Google to see what the hell went wrong. I lucked out. I tested the two pads for negative and positive before I plugged it in and they were in fact reversed. My TX and RX also have to be shifted over on the cable. Uh, you have some options. You can cut one of the ends off and do a direct solder which is kind of pointless. You can switch the pins at the end which I did which makes a lot more sense. Um, if you're doing a lot of missions, I would suggest maybe hot gluing the cable into place. I mean, then it won't slide out and you don't have to waste uh, the soldering. And you can just take the hot glue off and uh, use the cable again on your other APM board. Um, anyways, I'll show some video inside the unit. Alright, I got the cover off now. Uh, this is the setup I have right now. I just have it glued here temporarily. I took off the end connector and... Uh, ran the wires through that hole right there for part of the leg okay so inside what I did was I folded all the wires Instead of, uh, my original idea was just to use a Dremel and uh, mark out this place right here and just have the wires sticking out. But uh, it worked uh, it worked okay like this. You just have to run it underneath everything. And it's just enough room for it to fit. And this way too, it stops the wires. It stops the wires from coming out during a mission. Okay, so... See if I can do this with one hand without breaking the board. So here's also the version of the board I have. So you can match it up with yours. So there's the... Uh, pads right there. You can tell usually because the TX and the RX are usually right next to each other. The uh, ground pin off on the right side, the far side, you can also tell because it's, uh, it's actually soldered right to the main board. So the rest of the green where it's not etched out, it's usually ground. So that's usually a first hint. Or if you look on this positive one, you can usually see it's etched around it so it's actually not touching anything. But anyways, just use your multimeter, positive, negative, RX, TX, but they might be reversed as well. But that's not a big deal. So basically the wiring layout. Actually, I'm gonna pause the video again. I'm gonna pop all the wires back off and then just show you on the telemetry itself. Okay, so here's the cable back to original. This is most likely how it got shipped, and it's the wrong way. So how I change it is I use a needle, and I just put it right there and carefully lift up this plastic piece. And then with the other hand, pull the wire out. Can be a pain sometimes. Just take your time, and you'll get it out eventually. So the first thing you want to do probably is just swap the black and red.
I guess it'd be nice to have some music now, wouldn't it? Do, 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 do. People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Yeah, maybe I'll just fast forward this part. Uh, when you're unwanted, streets are uneven. When you're down, when you're strange, faces come out of their range. When you're strange, no one remembers your name. So the right color code would be red, blue, strange, yellow, space, black. When you're strange, so. Again, your yellow and blue, your TX and RX, it doesn't matter if they're reversed. You can, if you don't get any uh, communication, you can swap them around, depending on what version you're at. Okay, so that's how you do that. So, this guy here. So it's ground, 5 volts, RX, TX. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so the next part of my video will be just basically showing the software side of it. Actually, I can plug this in for you too right now to show you what it should look like once you have it right. You'll end up getting, a, if you have it wrong, you'll end up just getting a green light. So right now I have a blinking red light and a green light, so that usually means it's 100%. It's, it's all good to go. All right, welcome to the software side of it. Uh, once you plug in your telemetry USB into your computer, most likely it won't get detected by Windows and you're gonna have to find the drivers. I included a link in the description where to get it from and uh, I'll show the step-by-step -step for that, I guess. It's from Sid Labs. So after you have this file extracted, you'll find it comes with uh, two versions, an 86-bit version and a 64-bit version. So if you have the 86-bit OS, install that, and if you have the 64-bit, install that one. After that's done, plug in your telemetry again and go to Control Panel, and uh, you'll see it show up. If you want, you can go to Properties, and Port Settings, Advance, and then uh, choose your COM port. I just leave it on a default port. All right, the next thing you're gonna wanna get is a hex file for your quadcopter. If you're running 3.2.1, you can use this file. If you're at 3.12, you might actually be able to stop the video here and hook up the uh, telemetry cable and be done with it. If not, if you are at a later version, you need to get this hex or downgrade back to 3.12. A guy in the forums named Fantastic gave a gift to the community and it was a simple hex edit to get telemetry working again on 3.2 and 3.21. So I'm currently having 3.21 so that's the file I uploaded. 
and just download that and save it to your desktop or folder wherever All right, once you have that saved, the next thing you're going to want to get is the firmware tool to update it. So again, I include the link below. It's called Xloader. And like they said, it's simple to use and needs no real explanation. Your really? Okay, find a folder where you download your files to and extract Xloader. And after that's extracted, extract the hex file with the firmware update 3.21 or 3.20. What I usually do is copy the hex file into the same folder as the firmware tool. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Okay, so after that's pasted in there, you'll want to plug in your telemetry USB cable directly into the CX20, not the telemetry kit, the actual cable. Then open up Xloader, find your hex update file, mine's 3.2.1. Under device, choose the last one to 2560 under COM port choose your USB telemetry that's connected to your CX20 through the USB cable under baud rate leave it at the default if it's at 57600 that's fine push the upload button it'll take about up to a minute to update if uh, it hangs longer than five minutes I would close the X and try it again and I'm not going to do the update right now because I'm already updated and now I'll move on to the last step. You can unplug your USB cable now and uh, plug in the telemetry TX into your CX20 and plug in the USB RX into your computer and turn on your quadcopter. After that's turned on open up Mission Planner Okay, so once Mission Planner is open, if you don't see the COM port or the baud rate, it's probably because you're full screen, so just minimize it, but you guys probably already know that. So pick the COM port that has your telemetry kit on it, and pick the baud rate 57600. Push connect. So you should see your signal strength right away, and it should start downloading your parameters. And after the parameters are done downloading or uploading, the uh, it's connected. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching.